We're sitting in the Shirley Moore Laboratory Preschool at the University of Minnesota, and it's a teacher training and research preschool for children who are between the ages of two and five. My work on childcare began in this preschool because I got very interested in understanding how relationships among children might be affecting their stress biology. Social relationships are critically important to social animals, and we are a social animal. And I was looking for settings where I could actually observe stress elevations in this hormone and do so in a way that didn't require me to do nasty things to children. Three-year-olds interacting with other three-year-olds desperately would like to play well together, but nobody's got the skills to sustain this for a very long period of time. Okay, should we go ask if we can join another dinner? No. No? Not ready yet? We were assessing them over the day, looking at their interactions, and what we discovered when we got our results back on the hormones is that they were showing elevations in stress hormones over the day, which completely stunned us and it was 85% of the kids were showing those elevations, so it wasn't just one or two children. And that really set us up on a whole new track of trying to understand what was going on at childcare that was provoking these elevations and trying to determine whether there was anything there to be concerned about. See, I need some more. You do need some more. Where are you going to put them? I tell parents that are surprised by this, I say, well, okay, let's see. Your child is four, you're going to have a birthday party, you're going to invite 20 children, they're going to arrive at 8 a.m. and leave at 5. Now, you want to ask me why people might be getting stressed? But what we've been finding quite consistently is that poor quality care is particularly stressful. High quality child care can be very beneficial for children's experiences, though the added piece we have is that even in very high quality care, we are seeing a rise in these hormones over the day. So that raises a question of is that necessarily bad or is that just supporting the amount of effort and energy that children need to, to put into managing those situations and a certain amount of that is actually, you know, a little stress is good for development. Oh, good job. I have 